In a civilized and cultivated country, wild animals only continue to exist at all when preserved by sportsmen. The excellent people who protest against all hunting and consider sportsmen as the enemies of wildlife are ignorant of the fact that, in reality, the genuine sportsman is by all odds the most important factor in keeping the larger and more valuable wild creatures from total extermination. Theodore Roosevelt Hey y'all, welcome to the Wild Initiative Conservation Coffee Break. Today I am sitting down with Mark Holyoke of Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation. Mark, thank you so much for sitting down with me. Thank you. So, uh, if you could just give a quick introduction uh, about what you do with the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation and then uh, explain to us kind of the mission of RMEF. Well, I'm the Director of Communication for the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation. I've been here seven years. Um, prior to that, I was a member of uh, the broadcast journalism world. Uh, really enjoy my time working for RMEF. Uh, we're doing some great things here. Um, we were founded in 1984 by four elk hunters in northwest Montana who kind of looked around at the outdoor landscape and realized that there was uh, no group that was, uh, had a dedicated effort toward, um, toward elk out there, and, and they decided to do something about it. So they formed the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation, and our mission is to ensure the future of elk, other wildlife, their habitat, and our hunting heritage. So since 1984, 35 years ago, um, RMEF and its partners have permanently protected or enhanced more than 7.5 million acres of wildlife habitat and also opened or improved access to more than 1.2 million acres at the same time. Uh, we have a, a strong emphasis on anything and everything uh, that is elk related. Um, so we, we've got several core I guess key programs, I guess you would call them, or points of emphasis uh, that all point toward our mission. Uh, one is permanent land protection. We, we seek to um, acquire and then convey lands um, that are important uh, elk habitat. And so looking to permanently protect the wildlife values of those lands and, and, and uh, whether, whether they are on private land or on public land is extremely important. Um, so we, we work with various agencies, federal agencies, state agencies, landowners, all sorts of other partners in, in getting that done. Um, also, habitat stewardship is, is very important. Um, active management uh, of our lands, um, forest management, et cetera. But we, we look to uh, provide funding for and implement um, forest thinning, prescribed burns, noxious weed treatments, uh, the development of wildlife water sources. Um, that would help wildlife uh, all across the, the country. Also, elk restoration. Um, we've, to date, um, assisted with elk restoration efforts in um, seven states and one Canadian province where elk have been successfully returned to their historic ranges. And um, then we're, we're also involved with furthering um, our hunting heritage um, seeking to sponsor youth camps and workshops and volunteer efforts and anything and everything that kind of shines a, a light on, on the importance of hunting and its link to conservation. So I guess that's kind of it in a nutshell. We've, we've got our fingers in all sorts of pies, <laughs> and uh, we're looking just to, 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 move the, to move the good work forward. Well, I'll admit RMEF has always had a very special place in my heart because of my passion for elk. Um, so you guys have, oh, I've been uh, a supporter for a while and, and really a, a big fan from day one. Um, so I do want to ask, uh, what, uh, what would you say is the biggest issue facing elk uh, these days? Well, I guess that uh, probably comes down to space that's out there and the habitat that's available for them. You know, there's uh, every day there's, there's more and more of us that are, that are out here, um, and and when I'm talking about, you know, mankind or the human population as well. But we're, we lose, we lose important lands and habitat um, every day, and so we seek to to protect what's out there, and um, improve the habitat that is out there, so that that elk and other wildlife can continue to roam. At the same time, another big issue right now is getting access to our public lands. There there are many places where public lands not available um, or, you know, uh, get, getting access to private lands as well. There's a lot of programs 
across the, the nation that, that allow um, hunter and anglers and other folks to access private lands that are done through state agencies, et cetera. So those two fronts, um, uh, one of the things is kind of a, a more recent effort. We've always been involved in this, but is particularly seeking out um, pieces of land that perhaps beyond that land, there's there's landlocked public land that people just can't get access to or access is extremely difficult. So we've had a had a big focus on that and, and had uh, quite a bit of success um, over recent years. All right. So one final kind of two part question. One, where can folks find RMEF online? And two, how can they get involved and help out with your guys' mission? Well, we have more than 500 chapters uh, around the country in 49 states, every state except Hawaii. And so those chapters are hosting banquets, fundraising banquets. Um, they're a lot of fun to attend. And uh, if you go to rmef.org, you can go online and, and see um, where those events take place. And so um, we have, whereas our national headquarters is located in Missoula, Montana, our, um, all of our chapters are completely volunteer run. And so these are folks who care. You know, they're on the ground. Um, wherever they live, and it can be an elk state like Wyoming, or it can be a place where there are no elk, um, such as Indiana, for example, but we still have chapters in all the different states, and, and they raise funds that go toward elk and toward elk country and toward um, our mission and furthering our hunting lifestyle and hunting heritage. So uh, it doesn't matter where you live, um, you can find a banquet nearby, and of course, you can always go online to our website at rmef.org and, and learn a lot more information about who we are and how we conduct business and uh, hopefully help us out going forward. Fantastic, Mark. Well, I, I appreciate you hopping on the line and uh, spending some time with me, sharing with my listeners about RMEF. Hey, you bet. Anytime. Anytime.